Thanks for this question, it's a really big one. Um, it involves uh, population growth, it involves rates of immigration, in fact it also involves um, education because the vast majority of our migrants actually come in as skilled migrants. It involves sustainability and of course it involves planning. We believe that we need planning that goes from decade to decade instead of just election to election. It's really important um, to recognise that Melbourne's sprawl is actually being caused by poor planning, um, taxation regulations and really poor regulation in general. We must ban the developers from giving donations to political parties because this undue influence can really distort the planning outcomes. Melbourne has a lot of sites, such as old factories, where we could be doing developments. But more than this, we have to think about train stations and shopping strips, where if you put medium density development, say three or four storeys, along those areas, you end up with a really vibrant and active community. If you combine this with better public transport that's more extensive, that um, comes more frequently and that's better connected, you'll give people a genuine opportunity to choose whether they take their car or whether they take public transport. That in turn will mean that Melbourne doesn't end up choking on its own traffic. There are three really important components to um, population growth in any city. I think one is affordability, one is sustainability and one is livability. And really the key to all those three things is density and doing density well. Thank you.